What's up, guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care, as we're going to take on all of the Koroks in the entire Woodland region. Not, of course, counting every single Korok in actual Korok Forest, because these aren't collectible Koroks, they're just talkable Koroks. The collectible Koroks in the Woodland region are my favourite ever. Look how many there are. That might seem like a lot if you've never seen one of these videos before, but in the spectrum of the whole rest of Hyrule, this is a pinch of a video in theory. There are no collectible Koroks within the Korok Forest, since they're all just talkative or hide away from you, and we only have to do the area around this place. Now, there is also some Koroks in the Forgotten Temple, which is where we want to go at the end of the game, so I'm not certain if I'm going to collect them straight away. I guess we'll find out. But otherwise, yeah, this is going to be much shorter than usual in theory. Now, as per usual, we always go from the southernmost point to the northernmost point, so we're going to start the very southern easternmost point of the Woodland region, being the Pico, is that Pico? Probably says Pico, not Rico, pond, right by the Miroshaz Shrine by the Woodland Stables. And I'll see you over there. Now, this first cork can be found on the eastern end of the Pico uh, p p Pond, not Ridge. It's a lily pad cork, which I messed up. Shoot. Now that that's over, we're going to the western part of the Pico Pond. And this is a little block puzzle in the middle of the pond. Keep wanting to call it another body of water, not this time I wanted to call it an ocean. Ugh. The other block is actually under the water. Next up, we're going northeast over to this little peak here of, from the pond. And it is a rock formation. Next up, I think I'm going to do things slightly differently. We normally go and do a scan from west to east, but I want to go east to west. We're basically going to go around the Korok Forest like that. So we're basically doing one big U-turn. So next up, we're going south of the tower onto this little tree land west of the Minshi Woods text. Here we are at what's known as the military training camp, and we want to actually have a bow equipped. It is an acorn in a tree. Next up, we're going northeast, just east of the tower. Oh, nice. This was just under a, a path. I still have a full inventory with everything I've got. Jesus. Oh, wow. I had a lot of crap. Why is it now I'm getting Blood Moon so quickly together? Is it like teasing me or something? Ah. Uh. So this guy's just up on a wooden panel, just south of the easternmost part of the mud, under a rock. Next up we're going way f look how much distance we're covering, it's great! We're going right to the southernmost point of the region, by the northernmost pillar to Hyrule Castle. Right, here we are, right by the pillar, and... Well, you can't really s well, you can see it for a moment, the Hyrule Castle looming over us. It's just under a rock, on the edge. Maybe this is the most evil cork we've ever seen. Next, though, we're going up to Elmanoth, Elman Knolls, to this little square of trees or foliage here. And now that we're here, it is just a rock surrounded by these trees for some reason. Next, we're going the tiniest bit west to the very peak of Elman Knolls. And this guy's a archery test. You have to be on the log for it to activate, oddly enough. So sad to see I've only got 190 Korok seeds anymore, but oh well, we're going southwest now, just east of the Urch Plain text. By this trees. By these trees. And this guy is just a acorn log trial. I keep calling them trials, they're not trials, just shoot it. Next we're going northwest to this patch of trees here with this little stony square. So the block thing is actually some ruins and the Korok is on top of this well here. It's another archery test. Next, I want to go a tiny bit more west to this patch of trees here. And this guy's just a rock formation. And the rock is nearby on some more bigger rocks. So, like, do these Koroks make these rock formations first? Are they lifting the rocks for this trial? Like, what are they doing? I never noticed. Oh, well. Anyway, southwest is next by the Solari Hills on this patch of trees east of the shrine. And this guy is just an invisible Korok running around. Next up, we're going further east, directly north of the shrine, by this clump of trees here. And this guy, among all of the trees, is a log korok, just on the northern end of it. Next, we're going just north of the Marg Nora shrine, on this very corner peak here by the Tanaga Canyon. And this guy is a bombable wall, right in the very corner of this little corner of the canyon. Next up, we're going up along the canyon a bit, just by the Solari Plain, above this bit. We're going to go to this one first. 
And this guy is just a underneath a rock at the very bottom of the canyon. Did you work out what I said there? Because that was some very fast syllables, if I do say so myself. Anyway, the next one we're going to is further along the canyon, but a little higher up as well. And this guy is another bombable rock on the southern edge of the canyon. Next up, we're going to go into the Forgotten Temple, since there are Koroks here that need to be collected. So this first Korok is up on the westernmost pillar, going towards the temple. Second Korok is underneath a slab down here. Next one's going to take us to the main actual entrance part. Now this guy's actually going to take us to the roof of the entrance, where there is a breakable rock for us. Next one we're going for is on the eastern section of the place. Now, thankfully, I won't be giving any spoilers about this forbidden, uh, Forgotten Temple, because even though it is supposed to be the last area in the game that we go to before Hyrule Castle, the Koroks is actually on top of it. And this guy is behind, once again, a bombable rock in the cavern. Next up, we're going to the end of the cavern. Now, the first one on the eastern end behind the little crumpled area is, again, a block puzzle. And the final one we're going to is at the very end of the cavern before going way back to the plains. Here's the thing that I've now realized though, the final Korok at the end of this cavern is inside the Forgotten Temple, so we're not actually going to do it until the very, very end. I'll be sure to remember that pin is there, but otherwise we're gonna move on without it. Sorry. We're now going down to the Rowan Plain by this group of trees here, again with that um, ruinsy building in it. And this Korok is a Korok we haven't seen in a long time. This is a horse Korok, where, where you must uh, race over some hurdles with a horse. And that's how you get the Korok here. I think we only ever saw it once before in the West Nakluda region. Yes, I remember. So next up, we're going along the path a bit more on these clump of trees here. Now this Korok is at the top of the building here, behind some uh, fairy lights. It's an activatable one. Next up, we're going east to the Aldor Foothills bottom part by the trees again here to the east. Now this guy is again an acorn puzzle. Do be careful, there's a Lionel in the region. Next up, we're going further along the path to the east, uh, west part of the path on this plump of trees here, just by Rowan plain text. And once again, this guy is another log Korok. Now we're going to head on over to the peak of Mount Drainer. Man, now it feels like Skyrim. Anyway, at the very peak of Mount Draenor, you can find a rock that can be lifted. It's got a red face. Interesting. Have they all had that? I haven't noticed that before. That's not a colorblind joke. Anyway, next we are now going to go down to the Drenon Highlands, because that's where our next one is, right on the edge of the canyon. Also, fun fact that I've decided to only start abusing now, if you keep tapping the run button and whistling, you'll be able to run basically inf infinitely because the whistling gives back your stamina and you'll get to do the speed of the normal jittery run speed. And there is an extending pier that comes out here, and this is an archery test. Be careful of the Lionel nearby, because there's a Lionel nearby. Oof, out to the middle of nowhere. And yes, it is basically nothing down there. Next, we're going east to this bunch of trees just west of the Typho Ruins. And once again, it is another Log Korok. They love that in this region, don't they? This guy's green looks more prominent. Maybe it's the coloring of the, how everything else is orange or something. And I'm probably got that color wrong too, I don't know. So now we're going directly south of the Typho Ruins. And this guy is an archery test just overlooking the ruins. The forest even, it's not a ruins, is it? Oh, it is ruins, even though it's a forest. Interesting. Hopefully I don't wake up that Henox in there. Anyway, next we're now going southeast of the Typho Ruins up to the southernmost pillar aiming at Mount Eldin. Death Mountain even. God damn it, that bit there confused me. And here we are at the very peak of this pillar. It is another archery guy. And super easy. This Korok seems more like a romantic one than an actual practical sneaky one. Maybe he just wanted to give us this view. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one, or that one, or that one, or that one. <laughs> this game's pretty pretty, is what I'm trying to say here. Anyway, next we're now going to the northern side of the Typho Ruins. First up, Derpelian Badlands. <laughs> what a pronunciation that was. Right now this Korg is at the top of another little peak. Maybe not as romantic as the last guy, but he's still got a nice view of the canyon behind him. Next up, we're going to the east. 
from just south of the, uh, or just at the bottom at least, of the next pillar. Actually, is that even a pillar? I guess we're about to find out. Anyway, we want to complete the cube puzzle around here. There it is. Next up, we're going southeast to this clump of trees here, just by the Eldin Mountain. See, when you zoom out, it says Eldin Mountain, so we're right on the E there. Here we are at this kind of grim location. We want to go up on this tree here for the Korok to reveal its one balloon archery test. Bam! Oh, no, it's not one balloon. Never mind, excuse me. Ah, there's the other one, nice and hidden through the archway. Really? There's more? And the final cork we're going to is to the northeast by the East Deplian Badlands. Technically, I guess, almost the Elden region. Hmm. I believe the Elden region might actually stop at the uh, Leviathan Bones over there. Anyway, this is where we need to be. It is another rock formation puzzle. I guess puzzle. The tricky part, though, is how the rock is all the way over here behind some bushes. And there's a Lionel right there. Well, he didn't seem to mind too much. All right, and with that done, we have the entire woodland region completed, apart from those two blips there. Once again, an entire place done. This took me... 100... Uh, 120. One hour and 23 minutes to complete. That is amazing, considering the standard it's usually been. Sometimes I've taken literally 7 hours and 45 minutes to complete an area of Koroks and the Time Treasures as well. I'd do both at the same time. Ow, that goes my hand. So to have this done in an hour and a half is fantastic. I literally, with those 7 hours ones going through, would do it as an all-nighter. I'd just stay up the whole night and play until it was done. And because of that, I kind of forgot where all of the Koroks were in those regions. Like, the Hebrew region is an example. I don't actually remember where they are, because I did it overnight. It's nice! I mean, I might actually, if I ever decide to play this game 100%, when I'm like 41 or something, I'll know where the ones in the woodland region are, because it's nice and fresh in my mind and nice and easy. That's 657 Korok seeds in total, as we just saw on that loading screen. And with that, I am going to end it off here. Next time, we're going to a hover new- hover? Whole other new region to take on all the side quests. And then the Koroks and the Shrines. That's it. I forgot what the thing in the middle was. But that is a thing for next time. For now, my name's been Daz. You didn't really care. And I'll see you in a bit.